1989, there was a book called Satanic Verses written by a, a Muslim who knew, because he came from a Muslim family, he knew the reaction in the Muslim world amongst the Muslims if he insulted or mocked or ridiculed a holy prophet, peace be upon him. But what happened after 1989 was, rather than again the Muslim world coming up with an intellectual narrative, trying to explain to them that why do we feel, why are we so hurt when a holy prophet is ridiculed? Why does it hurt us so much? Living in and knowing the Western societies, I knew why they couldn't understand because they do not treat religion like we do. Jesus Christ does not, is not treated the way we, in the West, the way we treat our holy prophet here. So they couldn't understand what was going on. Why were the demonstrations? Why were there death threats to Salman Rushdie? So they kept thinking that the Muslims do not allow freedom of expression. So Muslim world is intolerant. It doesn't allow freedom of expression they were able to vilify our religion. And yet, there was no coherent response from the Muslim world. And therefore, we kept into the cycle every few years, there would be some cartoons, insulting cartoons against our prophet. Every few years, there would be something uh, insulting him. We would respond. There would be some act of extremists. They would not respond. So this Islamophobia, the cycle, kept getting worse. And poor Muslims living in Western societies kept suffering. 